1918. The Russian Empire had fallen and the Bolsheviks already came to power. They refused to give Kyiv extended autonomy, so on January the 22nd, the Ukrainian People's Republic declared independence. Simultaneously, the Austro-Hungarian Empire is disintegrating in the West. The Western Ukrainian People's Republic, with its center in Lviv, declares independence. But Poland and Romania claim its territory as their own. It should be noted that the proclamation of the Western Ukrainian Republic took place on solid legal grounds. It must be emphasized here that the West Ukrainian People's Republic is an entity that was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire as the Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria. But it must be also emphasized that part of this kingdom for political reasons also included part of Lesser Poland, that is Kraków and the Kraków Voivodeship. To unite the nation, protect the Western territories and join the military powers on the first anniversary of the independence of the Ukrainian People's Republic, the country signed an act of reunification. After a year of negotiations, the text of the document was read out at Sofia Square in Kiev. A holiday has been declared throughout Ukraine now united. I must mention that each of the states had their own government and of course the Ukrainians who were divided into different empires since the 1790s were happy to unite. And it really was a feast, because the Ukrainians united, united in an independent state. For the first time in almost 200 years, Ukrainians were able to unite in a single state. For centuries, Russia was using internal disputes between regions to destabilize and influence Ukraine. But now that Moscow's true intentions have become clear to everyone, no longer has the opportunity to stir up hostility between Ukrainians. This is clearly seen in the way people's attitude towards the past has changed. Thus, according to the data of the foundation Il Koko Cherev Democratic Initiatives, compared to the 2020s, 24% more citizens have a positive attitude towards the collapse of the USSR and to the process of decommunization, and now the number of citizens who support the Russification of toponyms increased by 29%. Now it is clear that these throw-ins, attempts to quarrel us, that Russia itself is behind them. Unfortunately, the Russians have partly succeeded in this in the past. They reopened old historical traumas. But as we can see, public opinion has already changed significantly. And for many people, everything has become clear. People are rethinking their past. They understand more and more who our friends and enemies were in the past, who our friends and enemies are now, and who will be whom in the future. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, the Ukrainians in fact live one long day of unity. People from all regions of the country are fighting for the freedom of Ukraine on the front lines. In the same way, residents of all cities participate in fundraising campaigns to help the armed forces of Ukraine and civilians affected by Russian shelling. On average, Ukrainians transfer about one and a half billion hryvnias, more than $37 million per month only to the largest funds. Record collections were in July and amounted to more than $54 million, according to the Open Data both platform. For almost a year, Ukraine has been living in a completely different reality, in which there is no difference between the East and the West. There is no fundamental difference between representatives of Sevastopol and Simferopol, who fight in the Ukrainian army, and Ukrainians from the West of our country. They are all patriots. That is, now in general, patriotism is manifested in love for one's country and in the willingness to sacrifice property, health and life for its sake. Today, on January the 22nd, Ukrainians in all regions of the country and beyond demonstrate the same unity as they did 104 years ago. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.